Hi everybody. Uh, my name is Timothy Trespass and I'm a targeted individual. Uh, what that means, for those of you who don't know, is uh, I have been chosen by whatever means for uh, non-consensual, uh, extrajudicial human experimentation. In my case, it has been experimentation into uh, Morgellons disease, nanotechnology, remote neural monitoring, mind control, uh, MK Ultra style counterintelligence, uh, covert LSD like druggings for years on end, daily aerosolized. Uh, exposure to foreign DNA, exposure to um, chemtrails, Morgellons nanotechnology, uh, remote neural monitoring, like I said, where they see through your eyes and they hear through your ears and they uh, listen to the inner dialogue of your mind, the ego speaking to, your, to yourself, and they interject words into the uh, inner dialogue and they can control your emotions, they can uh, subliminally communicate with your subconscious through this device, uh, they can command you to do things that sometimes you can't resist, it's, it's horrible, um, and I'm dying from it, I was murdered already, I'm just waiting to drop dead, uh, anyway, the reason I'm making this video is I want to tell you people that uh, we've been forced to move again. This is the ninth or tenth time in three years. Um, the first, you know, eight, seven moves were, you know, within a month of each other, and then six months here and eight months there, and so we're looking for a new place. Um, one of the interesting things is the way that this mind control, social control system works. Now. As we all know, it could just be a coincidence, it could just be, you know, fate, whatever. But when you have these things happen to you over and 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 over again for many, many years, you begin to notice a pattern. You begin to wonder if something more is not going on. And I believe there is something more going on. But here's how it works. Um, my girlfriend and I, my wife and I, are staying in a room that we rent from this quote-unquote nice Spanish couple uh, who needed the money we were going to give them. And we've been paying the rent on time, you know, every month, no problem, we're quiet, we don't have any guests, really. We come, we go out once a day to buy food, we come home, we stay in the house, we work on the computer, and we try to heal, you know, as we watch ourselves be tortured. Anyway. Um, so, the the stepdaughter of the people, of the woman, and this has can't live where she's living with her boyfriend anymore, and wants to move back into the house. And that's why we have to move. And this this she was living somewhere else, and then she moved to wherever she was moving. Now that she has to move out of. Um, so let's pretend that, that mind control was used on the people that she's living with to give her a hard time because they're supposedly not nice people um, and her to say I want to get out of here and the mother to say yes let's have the daughter move in <coughs> and then <coughs> excuse me on top of that <coughs> this is a situation where we can't just, okay, let the daughter and the boyfriend move in temporarily into the house with everybody else until we find a room to get out because there's another girl staying in there with her boyfriend that they're letting stay because her family is not good to her either. So, you see, they're very nice people, but then all of a sudden he, he's getting mean and he's like unplugging the internet. He won't let us have the internet anymore. After tomorrow, he's going to turn it off. So I'm no longer going to be able to make videos of any quality and upload them except from my phone um, you know it's one of these things like you know the landlord is turning off the power and, and I'm like what are you gonna do next poison the food you know lock me out I mean when, we, when he said you had to move out I said okay fine 
I said, if, if possible, we would like at least two or three months to save up the money and to find a place. And they said, sure, take as much time as you need. And so it hasn't even been two months yet. And they're already unplugging the internet and he's acting like in a passive aggressive way in order for us to fight so that he can, you know, think that we're bad people and throw us out because we were begging him, we're like, please look at us, we've been tortured, we're dying, I don't know if we're going to make it through another move or two, and, you know, so he's got all this pressure on him from his wife and his daughter, and pressure from us, and who knows, maybe the mind controllers are going in all of their heads too, making them act like children, and it's horrible, I mean, you know, all we want is, is a little respect, and find a place where we can go quietly, live our lives until we die from this horrible Morgellon syndrome and mind control and radiation and God knows what else they're doing to us. I mean, look at me, man. Three years ago, I was, I looked ten years younger than I was. I looked like I was in my thirties, okay? That's what this torture and stress and covert drugging and Morgellons and mind control MK Ultra Covert program does to you. And I am a very strong person. Okay? I have withstood heroically huge doses of hallucinogenic drugs without flipping out. Granted, I almost killed myself <coughs> from the people that were <coughs> gang stalking, bumping into me, bumping into me like 10, 15 people on a block, every block. After about three days of this, you know, I was, I was with holding the emotion in because it's supposed to make you angry and it did but I was repressing it and I didn't let it out and so after three days I was ready to fucking hang myself but my girlfriend my lovely wife woke up and said Tim what are you doing and I said nothing but you know if you look like look at this stuff man I didn't have any of this horrible mask of death of three years ago these wrinkles were not here. I wish I had some pictures to show you, but I was actually young and handsome. Although I was starting to get wrinkles because they had been doing this to me for a while, and I didn't realize it. Um, that's how they do it. They start off really slow, and they build it up, I guess. I mean, maybe some people, they just hit them all at once. Uh, they did sort of hit us all at once after they did it really slow and built it up. So, anyway, um... If I die before I make another message, please take my words to heart. Uh, I'm telling the God's honest truth. What I know about it and what I can figure out and what I imagine. You know, some of my theories are just theories, but they're based on people's research. Do the research yourself if you can. You know, I hope I can make some more videos and uh, we'll see what happens. Then. These watchers, they don't like these videos and they give me migraine headaches and screaming high frequency and make me nauseous and vomit and then they do all these horrible things to try to get us to, you know, go crazy, be homeless and die from the exertion. Anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, it helps me to talk about it and I hope it helps some of you to know about it. Take care. Thanks for your time.